Hey y'all, thank you so much for coming back to join me for this week's hair video. So I don't have anything to review or anything like that. I wanted to sit down and talk to y'all about my hair growth journey two months after shaving my head. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts, um, how I think it's coming along, what my what length my hair actually is, all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. So if you don't know, if this is the first video that you're watching, um, I ended up shaving my head um, on Halloween. Um, lots of backstory, but my hair was thinning, my hair was breaking off, um, all that kind of stuff. And I was so sick and tired of seeing all that hair in the bottom of the bathtub. It was just breaking off completely. So I guess I kind of had a breakdown and shaved my head on Halloween. Sean, Sean did it, my husband. Um, so it was pretty short, but I do have to say that two months in, I do feel like it is thickening up. I definitely have some thin spots still, um, but I do feel like it's thickening up. One thing that I've noticed is that I'm still having some like hair fallout, but I think it might be normal hair fallout. Um, I do wash my hair three times a week. Um, I do wash it once a week, one time during that three those three times with sulfate shampoo just to remove any kind of build up because I do use hairspray, some gel, just because my hair is at that point where it just wants to stand straight up. Um, but I do have to say, like I said, I do think it's thickening up. One thing that I have noticed is I have a ton more grays coming in, which is normal. I'm going to be 39, uh, you know, this is coming up June. It's normal to have gray hair at my age. Um, but I do feel like that shaving my head was the right step. Do I like it? No, but it is a lot better than when I first shaved it. Just because I do feel like I can do a little bit more with it. Um, like here in the back, it's a little bit longer, so I can kind of do like the Karen thing. No, I can kind of do that thing where I like fluff it up in the back and have a little bit more texture. Um, depending on the day, weirdly, I can like put a barrette in. Like, so yeah, this is my natural color, by the way. Um, but yeah, you can see some grays coming in. But like I said, I'm still a little bit thin in some places. The back actually has grown quite a bit. So um, I haven't touched up anything. I'm not going to be cutting it for a while. Uh, so when it gets a little bit longer, I'm going to go in to like the hair college, like, you know, where people like are trying to get their certificate. I'm going to be going in there to get a, like for them to shape up the pixie. Um, I'm not going to be cutting my hair by myself anymore. Um, I was actually looking on Amazon cause you know, you're bored, you're going through Amazon and I was looking at semi-permanent or demi-permanent hair color and it was it's like a 10% um, developer. And I'm like, no, you're not dyeing your hair again. I have like the conditioners that have color in it, uh, that can like enhance your color. And honestly, I'll use that cause it's not it's not opening the cuticle of your hair to deposit color. It's just kind of laying on top. So I'm totally fine with doing that. Um, just because I want to do the least amount of damage as absolutely possible. Um, I do feel like, you know, oiling my hair once a week, not do using any heat, um, being really careful with it. I do feel like that is helping it. So yeah, um, still not loving it, but it has grown quite a bit. So that's good. But yeah, I'm hoping, sorry, I'm hoping some of these places will start to fill out a little bit more. Like right here is just really, really light. So it looks like I'm bald right there. So yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. You know, it's better than it was. Um, you know, I feel like I have some waves starting to come in because my hair is naturally a little bit wavy. I don't know what grade, like 2C, 2A, I don't know. I'm not sure. But I feel like using mostly sulfate-free products. I feel like oiling, um, being really gentle with it. I feel like it is helping my hair. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like in a year. I'm super excited about that, actually, just because I was damaging my hair so much using all the different hair dyes, using all the different shampoos and conditioners. My hair was probably screaming, stop, Kim, stop. And I just kept doing it. I think my biggest problem was honestly layering permanent color over permanent color over permanent color 
over permanent color. And that last, um, that last box of the vegan hair color was the last straw. I was, I had a reaction to it, but I think my hair at that point was so trashed, even though it didn't look super damaged or unhealthy. I think that was just the last straw. Had a reaction to it. My skin, my hair did not like that, um, that vegan color that I used. And it just, at that point, like I said, just snapping off, snapping off at the root. Um, I actually still have some places where the hair is super short. When I first shaved my head, I had like, have you ever had like a person in your life that shaved and their beard's starting to grow back and they have that stubble? That's where some of the, like some pieces of my scalp, I had hair that short from it breaking off. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like in six months. I'll probably do a six month update. I, I know y'all watch my videos. You're going to see as we progress, but I'm excited to see what's going to look like in six months, a year. And I'm hoping at the end of this, my hair will be a lot healthier, stronger, and no breakage. So yeah, I just wanted to do this little update, kind of really show you like up close and personal what it's looking like. But yeah, I feel like it's definitely thickened up quite a bit, which is a good thing. You know what I mean? Um, I am kind of afraid that I'm going to have a mullet era. It's just going to be the way it is. Cause like I said, I'm not going to be getting like any length actually cut off. Like I said, if I need to shape stuff up, you know, get the pixie kind of squared away, totally fine with doing that. But I don't really want to remove a ton of length just because I'm going to try to grow it out as quickly as possible. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet hair video. Um, like I said, expect to see a six month and a year update. Um, my thoughts, stuff like that. So anyway, yeah, there we go. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it, all that kind of stuff. Let me know down below in the comments. If you've ever cut your hair super short, how long did it take for it to grow out to the length you wanted? I would love to know down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. I do upload seven days a week, all about budget stuff. So budget beauty, um, vlogs, um, home care, some cooking reviews, you know, all sorts of stuff. So make sure that you do subscribe, but I appreciate you stopping by. Another video should start auto playing here in a moment. It might be one of mine. It might be somebody else's, but sit back, relax, enjoy, and I'll see y'all here in just a sec.